Our story starts with Speedy Bill Smith. He grew up here in Lincoln, Nebraska, and just had a passion for cars and motorcycles and racing and mechanical stuff. He did what he told so many people to do over his life. He followed that passion and founded Speedway Motors. And so in 1952, he borrowed $300 from his soon-to-be wife, Joyce, and they started the company. And at the time, it was really the only speed shop in the Midwest, one of the very first. He was a racer, and so he recognized that in the Midwest, it was kind of hard to come by speed parts. It was hard to come by the parts that racers needed. He established these relationships with all of these, these racers and then hot rodders and then custom car guys and sort of allowed that scene to flourish here in the Midwest, eventually serving the rest of the country, releasing a catalog, and then now we serve the whole world. We are very much a product of where we're from. You know, we're a Nebraska company and we're really proud of it. To be able to serve our customers with that integrity, you know, and that work ethic, you know, we consider that to be a privilege. We do a good job listening to our customers and listening to the challenges that they have with their build, trying to solve those challenges with new product development. This is the stuff that we're doing at night when we go home and work in our garages. It's the stuff that keeps us awake at night trying to figure out the better way to do something. And so we're just like them. You want to do business with people who get you and who you feel like you could relate to. And I have the same passion as our customers. I build a car at home myself. I used to race. Just love working with this product. And you bought it, built it, put it on in your garage, whether it was a father-son project or however you were doing it, but now it handles like a modern car. It's really important to us that we get to be a part of our customers' stories, you know, that we get to sort of help them to build their dreams. Realizing the challenges they have, and if they're having that challenge, more than likely they're probably not the only one, and then we'll just evaluate that issue and produce the part ourselves to fill that gap in the product that we sell. Racers need parts yesterday. We have quality parts, low prices, and excellent service. You know, that's sort of the cornerstone to our business and people wouldn't buy from us if we didn't have that. We build our own shocks so we can control the cost of our shocks. We try to do more volume. And since we have a bigger shop, we have more capabilities, beat all our competitors and do it on a more affordable base so the consumer gets a way better package from the start. We are close to around 70 new products this year. I feel like that's a pretty good accomplishment, especially from working from home. Our front suspensions have kind of stayed pretty close to what they've been from the start. A few different versions, obviously different size sway bars, different spring and shock packages, where it still looks old, sounds old, has all the old muscle car appearance, but now it has the performance capabilities of like a, a new Camaro or a new Mustang or a new Corvette. The capabilities of what they're able to do where at first glance it just looks like an old muscle car, but you can keep up with pretty much any new modern car. Typically a new idea comes from one of our employees. I'd say a lot of our employees are street riders and racers themselves, so they come up with a lot of great ideas for the customers. Once we design the part, we work very closely with their manufacturing on building a fixture, send them to the lab, and then we'll also 3D scan those and do a comparison against the 3D model to make sure and within the profile tolerance on the print. The race team takes the cars out and autocross is a pretty popular thing right now. So we, we take them out and we autocross them. And we've pretty much beat every one of our competitors at any big event at any one time. We hire professional drivers taking the product to the limit. Make sure that they're gonna function properly and have good product life. At one event, I had a problem, wrecked my car going about 140, rolled it multiple, multiple times. You can take a car and basically nose dive it in the air at 20 feet and land on one of the front corners. But there was no catastrophic failure, so under normal road going conditions, 
the car is going to handle all the loads that it was designed to see. We sponsor a lot of different, uh, you know, IMCA and, and good guys and all sorts of racing sanctioning bodies and, and car shows and things like that. One event that's really close to us here is the Cars and Coffee. Open up the parking lot, open up the museum and just sort of invite the community in. Uh, you know, if you have a cool old car, drive it in. If you have a new car that you really love, drive it in. It's just a, a great excuse to get your car out on a Saturday morning. What's the fastest you've ever gone? I don't know that I can answer that on camera. <laughs> Not fast enough, that's my answer. Obviously, it's cool to see your parts out there winning races on the weekend. It's a cool feeling. At the center of all of that is the passion that we all have for what we're doing. You know, it's what led Speedy Bill to start the company. We have made our way for almost 70 years, adapting to what people want and, you know, being able to bring things to the industry that people need. And we're gonna continue to do that. You know, we're gonna still be here innovating and following the trends in the industry. We get to come into work and basically do what we love.